<laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Dude. <laughs> Get off there, bro. <laughs> hey, your uh, your blinkers on. The oh, fuck. It's okay, I'm just laying down. You alright? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 It's like... Oh. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. I'll intro in. And uh, out here with uh, Space Cadet, we decided on today's little adventure that we would take a, a black, most difficult trail and see what happens. But both of us are kind of feeling off our game and uh, him and I have both been awake for like 24 hours, probably close to about now. And uh, yeah, so it should be interesting. All right, lady man, let's get up there. You could have definitely defined sucks. <laughs> oh god. So, uh, fun story, YouTubers. Uh, I came out today, all excited. I was trying to hurry up. Well, you know, my wife was slowing me down as usual. And, uh, I forgot my forgot my freaking gloves. So instead of being a Debbie Downer, decided to man it up and uh, just come out here with no gloves. So uh, that was not smart. Oh god, that rock almost sent me up the fucking mountain. It's doing beautiful. Oh. Oh. Am I in first? I wasn't in first. Again. Do a black space cadet says. It'll be fun. All right. Man, what have I told you about not picking the hardest goddamn line? Dude, look to your left. All right, I'm gonna try to push you, and we'll see if this works. Go, 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 go! I got you! I got you! Get that bitch started! Oh. Uh, stop and make sure you're not leaking anything important. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what?
nope. <laughs> Thought you had me, bro. I feel like we've barely begun this, brother. <laughs> You alright, bro? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Straight forward looks stupid steep, though. <laughs> Ooh, I almost went under a rock. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've never seen somebody get that intimate with their bike, shall I say. Oh, God, YouTube. Oh, it's been a, I wouldn't say this is quite over my head, but it's been a while since I've done something like this. Oh, 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 come on, bro. What happened? What happened? Take it, take it nice and slow, man. Just we'll pull off as soon as we can. In fairness, though, both our tires seem to be doing really good. It's just us that seem to suck. <laughs> Is your, was your fan still going? Okay. Huh. All right, YouTubers, we've made it this far. I felt a little less straight. I've cringed a lot watching Space Cadet, and I genuinely really feel for that KLX right now. Uh, all right, YouTubers, after a much needed uh, little break from our uh, black action, and we definitely felt like we were getting some black action. Uh, we uh, feel a lot better. <laughs> KLX looks like it's just uh, pushing some coolant, or uh, no, actually we decided it was gas. I think from jumping it over, so. But uh, otherwise, pretty good trail actually. There's really only like three or what, four hard spots? Like, it's not, it's not too bad. So, otherwise, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Sleep deprived and all. <laughs> and I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> Get it! That rock was really unnerving. <laughs> so, space get out, we're just. Space Cadet and I were just talking about how, like, if you were on, like, a 140 dirt bike that literally probably weighs 150 pounds less, that this trail probably actually wouldn't have been hard at all. But this is part of the joys of a dual sport, right? Like, where you, uh, it's a lot more challenging than these bikes because they're kind of built for street and they're kind of built for off-road, so they don't do any one thing perfect. But can't do it and there's actually a lot of fun to this taking it a little slower taking some breaks try not to die <laughs> keep her going girl keep her going yeah boy and I hate this transition Uh, 
Oh, that's fucking badass is what that is. Oh, you hit that rim pretty good. God damn. YouTubers, so uh, yeah, we kind of pushed through that black, and we had a, a lot of fun. So uh, we're now on another blue, and we've been kind of riding this little trail here. And yeah, I'll put in a little sped up expert of it and some of the pictures. It was really beautiful. I, I I absolutely love this area. I love Colorado. I mean, it's hard not to. Um, but. We did a good job on that black. We had a few parts and, uh, you know, Space Cadet <laughs> had a few uh, unintentional spills that, you know, really weren't, you know, just kind of little stuff, really. And uh, I had my little part where I spilled trying to get up the, the rock and uh, I think with some momentum it might have been all right and I needed to commit a little bit more. So it was a really good learning point for both of us since we haven't been on harder stuff and honestly me a year and him probably a lot you know longer he's he's done a lot of motocross but not a lot of uh trail riding that's hard like that so uh it's always a two-edged sword kind of right um but yeah uh i i'm exhausted to be honest like uh, i mean talking about how you feel after a black and if you've had a few falls and stuff. Yeah, after you've had a few falls, you know, it's always that demoralizing and it becomes exhausting, you know. These are 300 pound bikes, give or take, you know. They're a little lighter, but not much. I mean, you know. Yeah, they might as well just be 300 pound bikes. <laughs> the XT is a little lighter, but not much. <laughs> you know, once you pick that bike up four, three, four times trying to do a trail, you know, it really takes a more, I think, so out of your energy than uh, more than your energy, it takes your uh, your morale because <laughs> you kind of kind of get that like fear of falling again, and I don't want to pick this bike up, and yeah, you know, it becomes a real thing. So uh, you know, if you're doing a black for the first time, or you're thinking about, uh, should I stay away from those blacks, or should I do it? You know, uh, who knows? One thing's for sure, though, if you're by yourself, absolutely not. I mean, like. <sighs> If you're by yourself, absolutely not. It's never a good idea to really trail ride out in the middle of nowhere by yourself in the first place, but more so, you know, is there are times you just need a good push up and, you know, I, I've gotten a little out of practice and I appreciated uh, Space Cadet's help insurmountably, like, yeah, he helped me out a bit cause, you know, I'm a shorter dude, admittedly. Some of those real high rock ledge stuff, you know, I'm not quite back to that level where I can just commit and I can get up it, right? And you wanna put your feet down and kinda like walk it up. And that, do, that does not work for a short guy, you know what I'm saying? It just it just doesn't, even on a short bike like this. You, you, the, the disadvantage of being short is you need to be a better rider. <laughs> Fact of life. So yeah, he helped me out a little bit. Got my angle caught up pretty good in the freaking gearing of the bike, so not so great, but I'll live. It's fun though, we're having a blast. Uh, you know, we challenged some skills today, uh, still kind of doing it. We're trying to stick to all blues on the way back. Uh, we're pretty far out the, now. Um, uh, yeah, so we challenged ourselves and we had some easy trails that were like absolutely beautiful and just flowing and a little kind of, you know, tight spots. And this is what I love Colorado. There's so much variety in this, in, even in just like one area, you get so much variety. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You got him in? Yeah, you slid the front out. Easy, it's pretty steep, dude. You need me to help you? Here, just lay her down. 
I'm gonna. You got it? Okay, cool. Get on it. Uh, I'll walk it down, dude. Just, just walk it down. That's stupid enough. I'm gonna die. Uh, I can hold the bike up, maybe for you. Actually, uh, yeah. This isn't gonna end well. I mean, you're you're like six foot, so me, I'd have walked it down. <laughs> but like that, you know, uh, being a motocross guy and a track guy, I don't think he's really, really nervous down these hills. And for good reason, I, I, a confession of my own thing, I, I'm probably weakest going downhill. It makes me nervous, and I'm sure that's true of a lot of people. You gotta not touch that front brake. It's unnerving because you feel like you're out of control, but you gotta, you gotta control the out of control, I suppose is the word of wisdom there, but that doesn't always pan out in real life. So you gotta really hone those those uh, functions. I need help. Come, come back. I can't get that. I need you to lift the bike. I can't get my leg out. Okay. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Okay. 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 Sorry. Okay. Okay. Just sit down. Oh. All right. So in traditional ferret face style, I did something stupid. I was trying to ride the edge of that embankment, as you saw there, and uh, it was holding pretty good, and then it, it let go. It was my fault. I was being stupid. Back to the main road. I uh, I don't feel so great, so uh, we're gonna take it easy. Back to the truck, and uh, hopefully nothing's actually wrong with me. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I had some fun on the way back, though. Regardless of my leg hurting, uh, but you know we've been out here for four five hours actually and uh it was a good day otherwise you know sometimes that shit happens especially with me like I got pretty lucky so far actually this season um but 
I don't feel like it's uh, anything too permanent. It doesn't feel like when I tore my ACL, so one can hope. <laughs> one can hope a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just dropped it, but I think it's the way that it landed on my leg. Just really twist something, you know? But uh, anyways, you guys ride safe, and uh, you know, I, I try. I try. But uh, this is fair face out. Y'all have a good one.